Chizik, strength. Where does one gain strength in the news, in the images, in the stories, in the information that we're all hearing, that we're watching, that we're seeing, in the brokenness that we feel, in the sadness, in the grief, in the pain, in the fear, in the uncertainty, and the many questions that we have, questions that are simply unanswerable, incomprehensible, the loss and the tragedy and the pain of the people who've been directly affected and all those who care and feel connected with them. Because to be a member of the Jewish people is to feel connected to the heart of the Jewish people, for it to pulsate together. It's what it means to be part of a nation, part of a people. The Ramam tells us in Hilchos Tshuva, HaPorish Midarche Etzibur, somebody who separates themselves, even in Afa Pishlo Avar Averos, you didn't violate any egregious sins, but Lo Nichnas Bitzarasan, simply not feeling the pain, not being overwhelmed with grief in a national tragedy, such an individual, you don't have a portion in the world to come. You're not part of the Jewish people. So how do we offer chizik? How do we feel chizik? Where do we turn to for chizik in moments and moments like this? It's so hard not to feel helpless and hopeless, to be so far away, so impotent, to make a difference, to have an impact, to give relief, to provide safety or security or comfort or strength. Most of us living in the diaspora and chutzlarts, we're not being called up to serve. There's no front line to show up at. What are we meant to do? So the first thing I want to share is that being overwhelmed with those questions, how and why and where is Hashem? How could he allow so many people to be slaughtered? How could he allow Kla Yisrael to be so shamed on the world stage? How could he allow this grief and this pain? We're not the first to ask these questions and we likely won't be the last. People much greater than we. Avram Avinu wondered, God, how could, how could you allow that to happen to stone? Moshe Rabbeinu said, Show me your face. Let me understand why do bad things happen to good people. And yet, Hashem consistently has said, I am God, I'm infinite, I'm omnipotent. You can see me from behind. Perhaps someday you can make sense, but you're not entitled and you can't understand things as they unfold. We're finite, He's infinite. And we are, we're mere mortals while He is eternal and omnipotent. But of first, the great Rav encourages us in moments and circumstances like this, not only personal and individual tragedy and struggle, but collective and national, to not get stuck and not get hung up on the question of lama, of why, why, why did this happen? And how could this happen? But that same word, lama and mem, hey, we could punctuate not as lama, why, but instead read as lima. For what? For what? How are we meant to react? How are we meant to respond? What are we meant to do now? Where do we go to from here? Throughout Jewish history, particularly these last 2,000 years, the Jewish people have navigated pogroms and persecution and expulsions and exterminations individually and families. We've suffered collectively. We've been set back. But what propelled us forward each and every time is not getting stuck or hung up or even distracted by the question, Lama, why don't? get stuck on a question that doesn't have answers, instead become the answer. Answer the lemma. For what? For what? And here's the thing. We, of course, can't compare to the heroism and the sacrifice and the bravery and the courage and those who will fight on the front lines and our brothers and sisters throughout Israel who are the targets of this enemy hate. We're not in the same sense. We're categorically different. We can't begin to compare. But, but every one of us, Every one of us can feel called up. Every one of us can come to serve. Every one of us can feel reservist, reservist in the army of Hashem. There is so much we can do. And that's the ultimate chizik that we can feel. Sort of ironically, paradoxically, the chizik that we can get is to not sit still, to not feel impotent, to not be passive spectators, to not get stuck on the question of why, of lama, but to focus intensely on the question of lama. How can we come together and what are we going to do next? Daven and say Tehillim and feel connected to prayer in ways maybe we never did before. That we have no one to rely on or lean on other than Hashem. Hashem, for some reason, which we can't and won't understand, we're in this mess, but you and only you can get us out of it. You can provide the shield and the shade of protection. We lean and we surrender and we submit through our tefillah, through our heartfelt prayer, through our bitachon and emunah, we're demonstrating to our children, to our friends, to our families and ourselves, individually and collectively, we lean and we surrender to you. 
We have a bone to pick with you. We want to understand. We protest. We object. We're in pain. How such bad things could happen to such good people. And yet at this moment, we turn to you from the bottom of our hearts and we say, for whatever reason we are in this circumstance and trouble, get us out. Take us out. All of us can call family and friends in Israel. So show solidarity and love. Check in and be there. We can double down on our learning. The chesed we can do for one another. We can add something more to our lives. If you don't go to shul during the week, start going to shul. If you come, but you come late, come earlier. If you talk, make sure you don't talk. We're all reservists. We're all being called up. We're all being asked to show up. Show up for one another. Show up for the people in Israel. Show up with rallies and advocacy and support. And show up. That's what gives us chizuk. We don't have time or space to get stuck on why, on lama. We need to respond to the lama, what we can do. Because when we give chizuk to one another, we get chizuk. We just finished reading the whole Torah on Simchas Torah. We're beginning again this week with Bereshus. And for every book that we finish, we ordinarily end Chazak, Chazak, Vinis Chazak. Be strong and be strong and we will be strengthened. This is a Pasuk that comes from the Navi. Chazak ba'ad ameinu ba'ad elokeinu. Be strong for our holy land and for our holy cities. When we offer strength to one another, we are strengthened as a result. If you're looking for Chizak, if you feel broken, if you don't know where to turn, if you can't make sense of this, you will feel Chizak. If you double down on giving chizuk, on feeling connected to others, on being there, on showing up, on doubling down, daven, learn, do chesed, staka, whatever it is, do more. Feel connected to the heart of the Jewish people. Because am Yisrael Chai, to be an am, to be a nation, the root of the word am, ayin mem, Rav Salavechik said is im, not only an am, a nation, to be an am, you have to be im, you have to be with our fate. Our fate relies on a sense of unity, of achtas. We're an am when we are im, when we are connected and drawn to what is unfolding and what is unhappening. Not the gruesome images that we'll never be able to erase from our mind, but to replace them with the images of am Yisrael Chai, of the Jewish people showing up and being there for one another, supporting one another, davening for one another, of being able to love one another, to not see now the differences that divide us, but the unity to beat with one heart Am Yisrael, because we're Im Yisrael. And if Chazak and Chazak, if instead of getting stuck on Lama, we ask, Lama, for what? What am I meant to do? What can I do next? Where am I needed? How can I contribute? What schuyos, what merits can I bring down? Through davening, through learning, through chesed, through tzedakah, through advocacy, through rallying. If Chazak and Chazak, if we turn to one another and give each other chizuk, then Vinis Chazak will draw the strength that we need Coming off of the holiday of Sukkot, Hashem should finally spread out the Sukkot, the canopy of peace over our brothers and sisters in Israel to give strength and to give courage, to guide the hands of our precious and holy soldiers to carry out their missions and to come home safely, to bring safety and security throughout the width and breadth of Israel and around the world.